Again, it is another gorgeous fall day, mid-October. We love it. Last night at the Alta, and I love when the viewers are sending us in to our Facebook pages, and you can see we have just a very, very little bit of snow out there on the slopes. And then, of course, the glow of the aspens in the foreground. So just an absolutely beautiful picture. Right now in the old mill camera, there's not much really to talk about. Traffic is flowing. We don't have any clouds to speak of. And again, the night's obviously a little bit longer, so it takes us just a minute to warm up but it is going to be another beautiful day. So these average highs and lows, we continue to see temperatures above this. 64 is where we should be. We're going to go into the low 70s. So it's been a roller coaster. We had the giant storm last week. Then it was a gorgeous weekend. It was really nice on Monday, and that was that little tiny front that slid through yesterday, and it did keep our temperatures just a couple of degrees cooler from Monday to Tuesday. But nothing cool about Phoenix. These temperatures are are well above normal. In fact, look at Vegas yesterday, 90 degrees as that big ridge of high pressure is building in. Now we've got the light north breeze and that's why it's going to feel maybe just a tiny bit cooler today. Not much. I don't really think you're going to notice it because what I have been noticing is the fact that the sun is still super intense. So we have a few of those clouds kind of drifting on through and basically fading warm stuff to our south and then that ridge of high pressure is building and it will continue to build over the next several days. Very strong ridge of high pressure will be the story. Heat advisories, so if your fall break is taking you to California, heat advisories, interior valleys in Southern Cal, and even down to the coastline around Santa Cruz, near 100 degrees Wednesday and Thursday. So that pattern with high pressure over us continues through the weekend. It's a huge high pressure. In Southern Utah, we'll be pushing 90 degrees. However, as we look out through the Pacific, this is a gigantic trough. And eventually you know that that is going to move in, and it will. So really two storms that we're going to be talking about in the seven-day forecast. One storm will come in late Sunday. We'll start to introduce clouds and showers, possibly late in northern Utah. But the bigger, colder storm is going to be Wednesday and Thursday. That's going to be a big one. So this is kind of a one-two punch. The first storm knocks the ridge down. The second one digs on in. So the chance of precipitation is going to rise, not through the weekend, but as we get into Sunday, depending on how quick that storm number one comes in, we could see some showers later on Sunday. And then Monday, Tuesday will be showery, but it's really the Wednesday, Thursday time frame that's going to get pretty uh, soggy. So for six to 10 day outlook, you can see the areas in dark green. These are temperatures that are, are, I should say, precipitation that is actually going to be wetter than normal. So get ready for a wet and very cool week next week. So let's get used to this beautiful weather over the next few days because we're going to have to think about that next week when it's raining. So 71 degrees today, still above normal. Statewide, no real clouds to speak of. 82 in Moab, 82 in Bullfrog, 87 degrees today around St. George and Pleasant tonight, 49 degrees. Again, it is cool at night because the days are definitely getting shorter, but these temperatures are so gorgeous. So very warm. Thursday, Friday will be the warmest days. Then a few in and out clouds Saturday. I would not worry about Saturday for Southern Utah. The clouds will start to increase a little bit on Sunday and it's going to become quite breezy. Showers introducing on Monday and cooler Tuesday. I think Tuesday may be that in-between day with the storms coming in. I've kept showers in northern Utah on Tuesday because I think the scattered rain showers are going to pick up before that bigger storm comes in. But let's just focus on the next three days. With plenty of sunshine, temperatures are going to be in the upper 70s, which again is well above normal for this time of the year. A few clouds Saturday. I still think you're going to get a good Saturday. I think you're going to get a fairly good Sunday, although I think Sunday may start to get a bit cloudy and then showers coming in late and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week could be quite unsettled. So enjoy this week.